<laughs> Hi everyone, we are here at Instagram's office in LA, and we are with Fifth Harmony and Seventeen Hi, Magazine. Yeah. And we are here today to talk about hashtag Perfectly Me, which is a campaign that highlights the amazing supportive communities of people both on Instagram yes. and off Instagram who are supporting body positivity, eating disorder recovery, and just self-acceptance mm. in general. I love it. And so That's we have these right. amazing people here today because Seventeen Magazine's uh, most recent issue was about body confidence. And who better to have on the cover than Fifth Harmony? Oh, thank, thank you, you so much! Yay! Oh, yeah. And we're honored so to be here. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have two amazing 17-year-old girls who are also featured in the magazine <laughs> for being like, awesome leaders in that space of promoting body um, positive and confidence in general. And then I'm from Instagram and we, I work on the policy team and Instagram is deeply, deeply committed to being the kindest, safest mm. platform online because we just see the amount of people connecting around shared things, especially body positivity. Mm. For me, I see all different kinds of communities and the body positive community is the strongest that's one oh, yeah. on that's, Instagram. That's and so we want to keep it that way. Um, and so before, and also uh, viewers, we will be accepting a couple questions at the Yay. end. So please submit your questions, um, both to Fifth Harmony's think. account, Seventeen's account. Um, but yeah, before before we dive into the, the, the fun stuff, I like to kind of warm up. And so I yeah. thought it would be fun to just ask you guys if you have a favorite Instagram account. Ooh, so, Ooh, so many. I have one. Mm. You go first. Go. Um, Solange Knowles. Oh. Yes. yes. Perfect. I just love like... That I feel like I see her soul through her Instagram and just artistically, yeah. it's different than anybody else's visually. Yeah. She's like, an artist. She, she just, really like, is. Represents. Down to the way that she lays out her stage and like her colors, and she has like a common thread or a color scheme is really really dope. Um, I love, I love. Okay, well, in the body positivity light, the Naked Diaries. Mm, I, love, I love that account. Mm, that account, it's yeah. amazing, <clears throat> amazing account. It's just like women and men just like t talking about their bodies and different pictures of stuff that like when you see it it you think it was something that like you know people are like oh that they don't like that about her but then it's them accepting themselves and loving themselves and oh, they write a whole thing about it and it's really that's, so cool. that's outstanding yeah, yeah so that. the naked diaries um undocumedia i love them they, so woke <laughs> <laughs> i get to all my information from there and then or well another obviously not all my information but and um Yes, Lady Phoenix. I love mm. it's an art account. It's cool. amazing. That's so, awesome. I gotta check some of those out later. Well, I know it's launched. Launch yeah. is like freaking. I love launch. So yes. I have to check your yours. Um, okay, this ties is two and one. Um, I love the Wonder Woman film. Yeah. Um, I, oh my god. I'm literally I'm obsessed. I'm I'm, 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 obsessed. I'm obsessed with that <laughs> film. Like, that film is amazing. Literally, it's it's really incredible. I'm genuinely obsessed with Why did it take that film. long to create one? We need more. I know, right? Yeah. No, wait. She is, okay, actually, she years ago, in 1995, I believe, there was a film called Terminator 2 that was made. She didn't And, uh, yes, <laughs> I'm very passionate about this. There was a female heroine named Sarah Connor, and I believe she really opened up that door. But we we do, I mean, it's been, well, 1995, we need a lot more than that. Yeah. <laughs> but Wonder Woman, I just, I'm, I'm obsessed. I love everything she stands for. She's my yeah. favorite yep. superhero. I'm going to be here for Halloween. I already know. As <laughs> I saw the film, I was like, yeah, I was like, for I'm going to, yeah, for my birthday. I mean, I, yeah, I should have It's an that. amazing No, um, I love, I love it because, because it, that film really has just inspired me and hit me on an emotional level and on like a spiritual, spiritual level too. Level, yeah. um, I you have to watch it. You. I'm watching it again. I'm still have it. I'm watching it. Go to the time tonight, guys. It was one of the best. It's incredible. I've never. I can talk on and on about it. Sorry, we're talking about Instagram. Okay, and Gal Gadot because she plays Wonder Woman. I think she's so. She was like pregnant while she filmed that. Yeah, really. Yeah, she was. She was pregnant while filming it. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> she's so, obviously she's gorgeous, she's but beautiful. she's so humble and down to earth, and, and she's so just charismatic, and the things she posts about are, are beautiful, and she talks about love on her Instagram account, and I just admire cool. all of those things. She's one of my cool. inspirations. Cool. I love that. Um, wow. Now I'm the last one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. If anyone else has one that you want to pop into? Well, that girl really is like my girl. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I love Zendaya. I love yes. how fashion forward she is. And that she's herself. You can mm -hmm. totally see who she is off of the camera, off of Disney. And mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's down to her roots. You know, she's from the Bay, and I love that she's yeah. still herself. Mm -hmm. I respect that. So, ZZ 
I love her, and I love, um, in the light of body positivity, I love Amy Graham. Mm -hmm. She is definitely wait, wait. Ashley. Ashley. Oh, Ashley. Ashley Graham. Sorry. Ashley Graham. Yeah, yeah. We just came back. Yeah, we're exhausted. Night, so I'm like, Ashley Graham. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> love Ashley Graham. She's amazing. I just love what she she's, stands for. She's gorgeous. Beautiful. And I love that she's doing Stunning. all these things. She has a book, too. Oh. And she has a book. Yeah. Okay, and, cool. a, and a clothing I'm line. And oh, yeah. She's a bad bitch. She, she, she really, really is. is. Just representing for plus size women. Yeah. Like, we need more women like that to represent. Because, yeah. you know, Absolutely. for me growing up, I, plus grew, size. Up, That's what I'm I grew up being kind of thick. So I always categorized myself as a big girl. Mm -hmm. And just me being amongst so many young girls my age, I always saw myself kind of different than them. And it kind of hurt my hurt my self my self esteem literally because I was like, yo, how do I work how do I deal with this? Like yeah. am I the only one that's different? Am I the only one going mm -hmm. through this or thinking that I need to be a certain way? Mm -hmm. But I love what she stands for and it makes me so proud just because she's representing for women out there who also need that representation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and I also Amen. really, really love um poems porn. Sorry. That's what it's called. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. I think there's one called Food Porn. Food Porn. Yeah, there is. The food literally. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Naughty for desserts. Wait, I'm not going to go with the food. Okay. Follow Naughty for. I'm going to follow Naughty This is amazing. I love it. So diverse. Oh, Daddy Issues. If you guys want to. We have some funny memes. Funny memes. Oh, the shade room. I was going to say. Oh, the shade room. Now we can't go. Yeah, sorry. No, Got a cap it. Girls, do you have an account that you guys like to follow? Um, mine would be Ashley Graham, too, because yes. I'm a plus model myself. Like, that's mm -hmm. what I've been doing for, like, the past four years. So beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And I've always, like, looked up to her as, like, for especially off America's Next Top Models, how yes. she tries yes. to talk to the girls and get them through all the struggles that they've been through. So yes, really. she would be mine, definitely. Mine is an account called Fierce to Fit. I'm actually kind of friends with her. She's made it pretty big in the fitness industry, but she's awesome. recovering from anorexia and she wow. turned to fitness and lifting weights and now she's recovered completely and I'm really oh, proud of her. Praise God. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. I love this. A really good segue. I would love to hear from you guys. I mean, you are such leaders and champions of women empowerment, Thank body positivity. Thank you so much. From what's in your music to what you say on your Instagram. Yeah. Like, it just, you can feel it radiating off of you and so you. I just I mean it seems really natural why why 17 would you put you on the cover but of all the different things that we could get behind or stand mm -hmm. behind like why do you guys feel it is so important to talk about body positivity mm. well ah! we're, ah! we're no, twins no. basically yeah. guys sorry we talk at the same time yeah. you go first okay um so <laughs> well um I feel like we're all definitely different body types mm -hmm. and we all kind of our different ethnicities we come from mm -hmm. different places so it is just kind of I think natural like you said that we kind of be poster children for that because it, it, we're all different women and we embrace ourselves and we love ourselves and, or we, we've learned to. Um, yeah. and we've gotten to a place where we do because because of empowering each other and because of even that, like I feel like a lot of the reason why I came to love myself was because of the fans and having to talk about these kinds of things and address them and, and, and them asking me advice about it and me, me giving them advice and being like, why, why don't you listen to your own advice? You know what I mean? Like, how are you giving this advice but then Not never, like yeah. when you're looking at yourself in the mirror, all you talk about are all the things you hate about yourself. Why are you doing that? And then when I realized that, that shift happened. And that's, I think, yes. what happened for all of us. So. I think that it also has to do with feeling represented mm -hmm. yes. and being able to look in a magazine or looking on TV or even watching America's Not Next Top Model and being mm -hmm. able to see yourself in somebody else. So the fact that you even have Ashley Graham mm -hmm. to look up to yeah. speaks volumes and I think that that's beautiful and that's also something yeah. that we want to do for so many women mm -hmm. and so many women. even beyond, you know, body type, but just like us all being culturally like just different mm -hmm. and we have mm -hmm. Different minds, we have different brains, we have different beliefs, but ultimately, like, we yeah. still, at the end of the day, love exude and love and love yeah, and respect absolutely. each other. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. fact that, you know, I'm a black girl, you guys are Latin, Diana's Polynesian, I just think that that's mm -hmm. just so beautiful, and it's amazing how we can all just come mm -hmm. together and make mm -hmm. our dream come true, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, and for all the, like, there's so many women out there who mm -hmm. hate themselves because of their bodies. Mm -hmm. And it's so sad to me That's because so we're so much more than our bodies. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're all, we're, like, since we're, bo like, from the day we're born, we're literally told so often to watch what we wear mm -hmm. or yeah. to sit smaller, be smaller, be smaller, like, stop, you know, don't 
show off who you are and mm -hmm. like this is just a vessel for the soul mm -hmm. you know what I mean and there's so much more to the soul than, than just the outer Absolutely. appearance and it's sad how many women never reach their full potential because, because they're so worried about what yes. what they look like and mm -hmm. what people think of yeah, them. Yeah, it's so I true. I think it starts at a young age, like in your teens. You have years, to start. It yeah. starts like at 11, 10 years old, oh my God. even 12. Yeah. I was girl. fifth grade for me. I was that's called fat start. and it messed me up. And that's what messes you, you up. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's just yeah. they programmed really in us do. at that age to like be a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, like being among so many kids at school, you have to learn to not categorize yourself as just one Kind. Type. Not one kind, yes, one type, mm -hmm. and I think that's why it's it's necessary for you to always embrace yourself and mm -hmm. know that there's somebody else out there. Like for me personally, when like Lauren said, when we would meet our fans and meet and greets, I didn't realize how many girls would come up to me and say, "Because of you, I love myself and I love my body." Right. So and because powerful. Exactly, yeah. and it gave me chills and it made me understand my platform and who I am. That I there's so much more. Our it's, there's so much more out there to um, for these girls to understand, and I just hope that I hope and pray that you guys all understand that you are mm -hmm. loved and you should love yourself yeah, first yeah. Yeah. before you love anybody that. else. Yes. And that's yeah. Yeah. And who's Absolutely. to define you know beauty? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What we make of our own beauty. There's, mm -hmm. there's so many different types of beauty, and also you know being a, a, a young girl going through so many insecurities and and finding who you are. Um, for me, it's so important us to be able to talk about body positivity and accepting yourself and loving yourself because we've all been to a place where we, where we you know, we're insecure about still whatever. Good. Yeah, and we still struggle um, to this day. And that's such a, it's such a horrible feeling to think of yourself as, oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. I need to change. I, I don't look like her. Like, what? Yeah. That's, that's horrible. And I, I just, I almost think when we're doing these type of interviews, talking to my younger self, like, no, you you are beautiful. God made you perfect, mm -hmm. and 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 you can be whoever you want to be. Don't let that or those voices or noises, whether they're inside or outside, distract you. Distract your focus. Focus on you, your soul, your spirit. Blessing people with who you are and following your heart's passions. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yep. And that's 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 that. Sorry, we'll throw some more. That was a pretty good. Pretty good point. Yeah. Um, well, the girls have come together and have a couple questions that they have prepared, yeah. and cool. we'd love to let, love to ask you guys. So maybe start with Sydney. Awesome. Okay. So you, I know, like you, all you guys are unique in your own way. Like you can tell about like the way you dress and everything. Is it hard to be in a girl group at the same time and find your individuality? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It is. It, it, it definitely is. It was, I feel like it was a lot harder at the beginning, in the beginning. because yeah. we were so young and still trying to find, find ourselves, ourselves individually, mm -hmm. and then. When you're in a group context, you know, it's it sucks, but you kind of, it feels like, some, sometimes it kind of feels like competition, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not, yeah. Not, in a, not in a negative sense, but just in the way of like, oh, I, I, I'm com comparison comparing is, 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 is what I meant to say. Or not outside comparisons too, which exactly. make you then compare yourself to the next one. Exactly. Yeah. And then you also feel like, oh, well, if she's like that, then I can't be like that because yeah. she's that oh, one. She's that kind I of have person. To be different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we were we were told that by a lot and of so people that like, so like, you're the bitch of the group. You're the this of the group. You're the, I was told that. So, and, and, I, and that hurt me a lot because I'm not a bitch. You know what yeah. I mean? So it was like, those kind of things really mess with the growth process because mm -hmm. you're like, I have to be this, and oh then God. yeah, I have to be works. like this, and and when I feel like that, that's wrong, mm -hmm. and when that happens, that really just messes yeah. with your brain. But yeah. we all no, broke out of that like a year ago. Like, oh yeah, like when when it's it's it can be really just unfair when people put you in a box for no reason. You're like, mm -hmm. honey, no, so I'm like, there's me. so yeah. much more to me than this little dumb box that you're putting me in. <laughs> <laughs> like I have so much more to offer, so mm -hmm. much, so much to see, and I think right. what also ties so beautifully into this album is that we we were able to kind of break outside right. of that box mm -hmm. and show who we are Definitely. and and what we knew we sense. had inside of us and mm -hmm. we were given the opportunity to finally do it without anything else blocking it or any other noise and for us that's when you get to that place it's an indescribable feeling right. you feel free you feel liberated you feel like Happy. I don't have yeah. yeah I don't have this weighing me down mm -hmm. anymore and I think that that something that happens you know over the course of getting time and getting mm -hmm. to know yourself, you know, whether that be through the trials and tribulations and then mm -hmm. also through like the great times, you know what I'm saying? So I think that everything that we go through just builds character. And for me personally too, like there's been moments, especially because we were super young where X Factor, honestly, it was like 
the toughest experience for oh, me personally. Me too. I would compare oh my myself God. and then like reading comments under Perfect. each performance and like yeah. oh down to people saying, Oh, she can't sing or like mm -hmm. just yeah. the fact that I even yeah. look different than yeah. everybody yeah. else. I'm the darkest one in the group. Mm -hmm. So it just things like that did stick with me and it kind of made me not kind to myself mm -hmm. yeah. because I would almost believe those things. But mm -hmm. I think that I've just gotten into a to a place where I'm secure. I know my heart. I know what I have to offer. Absolutely. And I recognize that there's beauty. That's important, too. Mm -hmm. Recognizing that there's beauty in other women. Mm -hmm. And you can also have beauty. Yes, that is Amen. so important. It's essential. It's essential. It is essential. Yeah. That, that actually, what Nirmani just said is so powerful. Because yeah. we as women are, are kind of kind of molded and, sh and shaped to believe that we're in competition with every other yeah. woman, that yeah. we can't be our full potential if she's her full potential. Yeah. And, and that is, that mentality is what keeps us in this place where, yep. where there's a patriarchy involved. You know what I'm saying? Where, where, where we don't have our equal rights because we're against each other mm -hmm. and we pit each other, we put each other down. We keep ourselves down. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. when, you, when you have two men, they're not neither one of them is questioning their own ability mm -hmm. yeah. when they walk into a room. Yeah. A man doesn't walk into a room and is like, oh, I, I, I'm not as good as that guy. Mm -hmm. No, they don't. They're like, I'm great. That mm -hmm. guy's great. Dope. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? We can all be dope. We can all be dope. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's the way it should be. Like, when you see other women doing great, when you see other women feeling like loving their bodies and loving themselves you like cheer that on cheer it on don't yeah. don't or if you and if you don't feel like you have anything nice to say shut the fuck up yeah. don't say anything yeah. at all yeah. because yeah. like that energy and that negativity so doesn't help anyone and especially yeah. not you you know that's something i'd like to actually bring up um norman i know you've talked a lot about comments and how mm -hmm. that can be hard when you're reading those type of comments i think this is a great opportunity here at instagram like Again, we want to be the kindest platform. We know that there's a long way to go with that. But like, <laughs> yeah. we've created, hopefully you guys have your new tools uh, turned on, but we have like the most, we have a new tool, the offensive comment tool. That's I, like, actually, I need yeah. to do that. I, I saw that. I, I saw need that. to do that. Yeah. Or there's this thing where you just I don't turn off, I don't turn off the comments. Turn off comments. Yeah. I actually, I went through cyberbullying. I don't know if you know. It was last summer, I believe. I had Man, to step away from horrible. all socials. Yeah. I was getting like racial slander mm -hmm. and just... Oh terrible images God. of me were being edited oh and my made. God, just, it was just really, really awful. Just, and really actually, disgusting. that was great that I had the option to turn off my comments yeah. Yeah. so that I wouldn't be able yeah. to see to clear yeah. those wow. things. Right. So I would love to just for you guys too, maybe to use this opportunity to talk to the fans of like how important it is to support each other online and like to show kindness online. Because yeah. yeah. when you, I feel mm. like when I read a kind comment, that like makes it makes your day. You don't want to like. But then the also when you see that one bad comment, that one, like, like, it messes your whole day up. Because usually that me. one mean comment is pointing out that insecurity yeah. you yeah. have, yeah, like, and you're like. Shh. She saw it. Yeah. You're like, it's oh, no. there. You're like, it must be she true. It. And it's like, I already knew it was there, but she just. Or I already thought it was there, exactly. and she said it. Exactly. She confirmed it. Exactly. Yeah. Which is like all the more reason why we need to support each other. Exactly. Yeah. So we need to like push those comments now and like. Yeah. Yeah. As, as yeah. Women, I mean, just, as just think before human you comment. Too. Think before you and, comment. And recognize that it makes a difference, whether that be positive or negative, in somebody's world. Yeah. Yeah. And it can leave an effect on people. Like we've had so many fans mm -hmm. as well. Like self-harm because of things that other people are mm. saying maybe over social media for yeah. me like yeah. firsthand I experienced it and it was awful like mm. I was devastated right even down to like me being on tour and me facetiming my dad and him not physically being able to be there for me and comfort yeah. me it was yeah. just it really I broke. remember that yeah it was an awful time even yeah. for me too like just going out there and then like just feeling like nothing like you just feel like you're nothing just because of yeah. these comments that yeah. you hear mm -hmm. and that like, people are saying out of insecurity for yourself mm -hmm. because you, you start believing that it's yes true, but it isn't and you start creating these little monsters oh my in your head, god and then you monsters. just like it takes you to like a really dark place yes. where you just have to like sit back relax look at yourself and recognize your beauty mm -hmm. and like pick up the smallest things that you love about yeah. yourself whether it's your the shape of your eye or your smile yep. or your hands down to your heart like yep. recognize your soul oh, first yeah. before yeah. you start nitpicking on the little things of your yeah, future. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so many trolls. It's like, especially so with what's going on now, we have oh a huge God. platform. I mean, everybody. Like, you don't have to be a pop star in order to have a voice. Like, it could be my cousin on social media mm -hmm. talking about mm -hmm. something that's important or something that's going on politically right now, even, mm -hmm. to use that as a tool to, yep. Yep. you know, use it for positivity yeah. and wake people up. Yeah. Wake people up. So, yeah. we have so much information on tools. You should go to Instagram, dashtogether.com <laughs> yes. to find out to make sure that you have and protect 
yourself Taylor. online. Taylor. Um, and then if you are too struggling with stuff and you need more resources, NIDA, the National Eating Disorder Awareness Organization, mm. is a really great place. And we, um, you can also get those tips within Instagram, too, Absolutely. which is That's cool. That's amazing. Um, Thank you for that. You're all, like, mm -hmm. we, well, it's just because we see the healing that happens from when people find when, different accounts yeah. that are it's positive. So it's so true. It's so true. You don't want that to end. You know, yeah. It's incredible how many that. people have really genuinely, like, healed each other. Mm -hmm. I, I see it all the time on Instagram, too, like, when I'm in the Explore yeah. page, like, just, like, women like empowering each other and and spiritual like all kinds of spiritual people on online that just teach like people teaching through yeah. through yeah. social yeah. media and yeah. that is so powerful yeah. that's it's like beautiful. that shift in the tool and yeah. what it's supposed to be about yeah. or what it's supposed yeah. to be for versus what it can it's be used for, for yeah. is so incredible because like if we make that shift from like for sure that selfie obsession mm -hmm. mode to mm -hmm. like to that this world is going to be And I think also changes. right now we're in a generation where we have like a responsibility for the next generation to come mm -hmm. to like emphasize kindness and yes. love. Yes. And I think because yeah. you know social media is becoming such a huge thing that we need to make sure the next generation understand that there is hope and there's love and that you and know the change. Especially they are the change. The next generation kind of is already a part of social media. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Like exactly. Like, exactly. like, like they're all over social media. I know. I'm like, yeah. like no, don't <laughs> put it down. <laughs> Please go outside. That's the thing. Like they see social media. Like they go on their iPads and they want to see what's on social media so you always have to be careful and like yeah. make sure you're always encouraging them and keeping it positive on there mm -hmm. for these kids so miss candle yeah you have a i have a question like cool. since you guys were around my age when you first auditioned like what gave you the confidence to step on stage for the first time my mom yeah my i was mom. just gonna say that my mom my mom's definitely my biggest fan exactly. uh, yeah. 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 That's what you mean. what's your mom's yeah. name I was really confident when I was 16. Oh, wow. <laughs> amazing. I was I super swear. confident when I was 16. I was super insecure. Awesome. At the I day. was not confident. Like, I had come to, I don't know why. I, my confidence oh. broke when I got into this group, to be honest. <laughs> not not because of them, but because yeah. of the world and, yeah. and, and fame and all of that shit. And in the beginning, like all the comments and everything. That really, really messed me up right. because I wasn't, uh -huh. I wasn't used to... So many like, people what? I didn't even know, but never even had a conversation with me Comment commenting me. about yeah. who I was or what my intentions are. Yeah. Yeah. That really, really messed me up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had I, I was I was really confident back then in, in my talent. Like I always felt confident in who in what I could offer because I, I knew that singing was my thing. Yeah. And so and music was my thing, so I didn't question it. And I asked my dad, I was like, Can you take me to audition? And he was like Hell yeah. <laughs> and he, I'm, I'm grateful that I had supportive parents, but like yeah. for me, like I don't know why, just when I, since I was like little, I always knew that this was what I wanted to do. Same, same, same here. At four years old. Sure, all of us. Yeah. I want to be a singer. I was I singer. so confident. I was confident in my talent, but like to go out there and stand among so many people, I was like, uh uh, uh uh. I can't do it. Like, yeah. so afraid. Oh, but I'm so glad that my mom <laughs> stood beside so me. She flew with me across. Like, it was my first time in the East Coast. Yeah. So my mom flew with me to Rhode Island from California mm -hmm. to step on that stage with me. And I needed her presence to keep me strong and to keep me motivated oh. and to realize that she was like, I'm here to help you pursue your dream because this is what you wanted all this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. like I had this dream, but I was like, I'm ready, but I'm going to just sit in the back seat so you <laughs> yeah, just drive. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be the driver. Yeah. But it was on my mom. So, so, yeah. so cute. And for me, it was honestly just a matter of my parents seeing something in me that mm -hmm. I never saw in myself. Mm -hmm. I I can yeah, honestly same. say, like, I grew up singing and tumbling around the house. Dance was actually my first passion, but um, I knew that it was something that I dreamed of, but I didn't uh, necessarily exactly. know how I would build the courage mm -hmm. within myself to actually do so That's and it. act on that. Mm -hmm. um, so it was really, it was my parents. Yeah. My mom was like, I actually, it was funny because I was supposed to audition the year before, and I made up some dumb excuse. <laughs> <laughs> something to do with dance. That's so yeah. funny. <laughs> like, about, but imagine if you would have. Yeah. 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 And if you would have. I would have. I actually auditioned the, auditioned the year before. I auditioned the year before. Oh yeah, you did. You did. I, I waited in line and did it, and then I got denied. Before. Yeah. The year before, I was At fourteen. I tried to work out. Ready, but that was a preparation for the next year. Yeah. Yes. I was fourteen, so I went in line the next year, and I was like, "Mom, I don't know. I don't want to do it." And I was just like, "Just try one last so time." Sweet. Wow. So anytime you wow. hear, anytime you hear a no. You yeah, guys keep, keep pushing. Like, yeah. keep pushing. There's keep a reason pushing. for everything. Amen. So it's yeah. all in God's time. Yes. Yeah. I was um, 
Yeah, I well, I was working on like music at the time, and I've been writing, whatever. And my mom had really encouraged me to audition for the X Factor. I was very hesitant. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go through a reality show. Yeah. You know, you never know the outcome and the results. Well, yeah. And you know, editing, which I got a horrible sense of the editing. Thank you guys. But now <laughs> people know who I am and know my heart and character, so it's okay. <laughs> um, but no, um, she she really just encouraged me. Said, "What do you have to lose? Why not?" And I'm yeah. like, "Fine, I will." And I sent my audition in online. And I prayed about it and said, God, this is your will. Open the door. If not, please, please close the door. <laughs> if not, please close. Just let me know. Literally, I think that's a really good note for parents to, to yeah. support your kids. Yeah. Oh, support your kids. Please. Oh, my God. It's the their dreams. It's it's life changing. They've yeah. changed my life. Um, and yeah, like I think it was four days, five days later, I got an email or whatever That's saying so right exciting. there. That's true. We, we, have, we yeah. have dope family We really support do. <laughs> and even if you don't really necessarily, because some kids don't, don't come from support system. Yeah. Yeah. But take that as your fuel to mm -hmm. know that you are meant for something. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. absolutely. And you believe in yourself always. Chase after yeah. it. You can be whoever you yeah. want to be. Yep. So I think we only have a couple minutes left. Or, 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 we have no minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. We, we talk so much. Um, but this was amazing. Thank you guys for thank sharing you. your hearts. Thank you thank guys you. for coming and asking thank your course. questions and for just continuing yes, to be leaders. You. And yes, like you are a leader. You, thank thank you. you are. You guys are sitting um, incredible. <laughs> too. Incredible. 17. <laughs> thank you guys. Thanks, everyone. Love yourself. Thank you.